Returns probably can't stay as high as, as they have been the last few years. Not only is it a fragmented project, it's to find the right people. Simon, you have bought the New York-based Granite Partners, now known as Savills Granite. I know you've been looking for a, a US partner, but why this firm in particular? We use PwC to do a body of research in terms of the US real estate market and the service industry, and um, analysed our strength both in Europe and in Asia. And over 40% of our group profit comes from the capital markets including valuation. Um, so looking at that and then taking a snap on the US market and looking at the US, Europe and Asia and, and the overall uh, investment market, which is roughly in 06 was about $700 billion, yeah? 40 odd percent of it came from the US. So we then worked through and said, well, okay, where's the headquarter center for the, for, for the decision makers that play in that market? And it was New York. And therefore, we said, OK, it's got to be New York. OK, it's got to be capital markets. At this point in the cycle, um, you know, and we do believe in the cycle, yeah, it wants to be small. OK, yeah, we don't want to go and put the farm on, on buying you know, a significant operation, yeah, which will bring management difficulties, cultural difficulties. And, and finally, we, we had to have a chief executive within the business that, that didn't need micromanagement, yeah, that, that, that shared uh, a vision that we all had, which was to buy small and really grow. So we, we've structured it so that we've bought 75% of the equity um, from the partners, and there was a sleeping partner, the Rubin family, who took 30% of the money up front. So the, 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 the big objective is to build this business um, to a crescendo in year five, yeah, when there's a further check to be paid to, 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 to the partners and, and we're broadening the equity base you know, within the company. An initial consideration of £26.6 .6 million, you say, depending on how the company performs, up to about £42 million, is that Yeah, correct? yeah, that is right. So, so, so the way the, 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 the structure works, um, of 75% of, of the consideration, as I said, gets paid out up front. Of, that, of the overall sum, yeah, the $54 million that we're paying in terms of the price today, 30% of that has gone to Larry Rubin's family. They were the original backers of John Lyons and Jerry Mason when they set up. Been a great deal for them. They wanted to sell, so there was vendor motivation from, 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 from the passive partner. Um, the drive uh, from, from Jerry, from John, uh, Jeff Baker, Jeff Cooper, and, and the rest of the team, um, John Williams, Arthur, etc., is to um, really grow this. So we've issued notice on the Rubin family, who owns 600 Madison, where we've got a floor, um, and we've got to be out of there by, by you know, three quarters of the way through 08, yeah, and we're actively looking for new space within you know, core Manhattan. Um, and, and that's to enable us to uh, recruit yeah, actively over the next two years. So yeah, we, will, we will be taking some professional help on board to go and help us find the sort of people um, that can fulfill that business plan. Will Savills Granite to be looking to acquire within the US as well in terms of its growing, the number of service lines it's offering? Potentially. We're going to concentrate on capital markets. Um, yeah, could we potentially look at tenant representation type work in New York? Yes. You know, it's high margin work. Um, you know, if we're advising investors to put money into office stock, retail stock within you know, New York City, a better, more fuller understanding of the supply and demand dynamic um, from a tenant perspective would be helpful. And if the right team you know, or right individual became available, then yes, we would look at that. But, but we're, we're very focused on building New York. Um, we're not looking to build a big portfolio of offices you know, th through Florida, Miami, you know, Boston, Chicago, Dallas. We want to build very strongly in New York, very strongly on the West Coast, um, and make sure that the, these are high-margin offices that, that can really capture 
you know, a width and depth of business throughout the rest of the US, just as, uh, you know, as Granite has been doing you know, through its existence. Its operations, uh, its reach go down to, 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 to all the major states. Uh, the one weakness is on that west coast. The fly time is about five hours. And so that, that's why we want to open over there. About how you see the US market at the moment. Some would say more, more a time to be selling a business than buying one. Yes, I think you know, it's very difficult to go and buy a business you know, uh, uh, as markets are, uh, are moving to a crescendo point. You know? So y y y you could say uh, our timing is fortunate in, in that you know, the markets have come off. Yeah? Um, we're seeing every day in, in the financial broadsheets um, the subprime you know, problems, the, 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 you know, the notes being issued by Bear Stearns, HSBC, etc., etc. Um, is there some concern? Yes, there is. Um, the, cost, the cost of debt is going up, yeah, has gone up, and that's causing pain both in the private equity market, property market. You know, it hasn't hit the equity markets hard yet, but given the amount of, of demand in the M&A sector from, from the private equity field, you know, we're starting to see some pain there. Where we see the opportunity, you know, you're turning a negative into a positive, is that the, the banks could lay people off. You know, we're expecting them to lay people off. We see there being hiring opportunities. We see that the, the, the earnings per capita being down yeah, for a number of the key deal makers. And you know, sh short term, not crisis, but, but instability yeah, presents opportunity. And so we're going to be looking to, to, to move into that opportunity and, and improve our operational gearing in terms of numbers, yeah, ready for the thing to swing back into action yeah, may, maybe you know, 12, 18, 24 months out. Your other UK-based competitors, DTZ Knight Frank, have also got a presence up in North America. How important is having a presence in that market to the growth of the UK-based firms? Strong. I mean, I think we analyse the data closely, and if you look at uh, Savills as a group, as a PLC, uh, we last year for 406 made some 70 odd million pounds worth of profit, mid 70s or so. Um, th there's a clear UK and London slant to that profitability. Yeah, a heavy percentage is from the UK. We understate our position in Asia. We're very strong in Asia. You were making 10 to 12 million pounds worth of profit over there. And we'll be a lead player over there. You know, in terms of profitability, headcount, management, you know, we'll be in front of a number of, never mind our UK competitors, our American competitors. But then swinging, swinging the, 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 the vision back to, to the US, if you're comparing us with CBRE, Jones Lang, uh, Cushman, they're making a significant percentage and defined significant, you know, greater than 40% of their profits and more from the US. For us to, to forsake, forego um, business within that, 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 that area of geography, we're not going to be able to, to double, treble, quadruple our profitability without fishing those waters. So we had to do it, okay? And we had to do it with a structure that gave us uh, the capacity to build profitability. And we're confident that that's what we've done. I know uh, the subprime mortgage market in the US is something you're wary of there, but overall, in terms of the global real estate industry, uh, are there any sort of potholes coming up you're keen to avoid? When you see um, the cost of debt, which has been a key component um, to, to, to you know, the buying motivation uh, of the American banks and opportunity funds in particular, uh, when, when that cost goes out, yeah, it will slow trade for a while. And so for, for, for a business such as ours in the service industry, yeah, the risk would be the traffic count in terms of the number of deals slows. So for a period of time, things may, you know, may slow, you know, but do we believe in a mean reversion you know, in terms of you know, whether it be housing trade, whether it be commercial, et cetera, et cetera? Yes, we do. And so it may be necessary to button down the hatches for, for a small period of time. But in the context you know, of the economy, if, if we're going to have a, a blip, a strong blip rather than a minor blip, 
you know, whether you go back to 72, 73, 91, 92, they tend to be for a, for a year or so, yeah, where, where the real pain is suffered, and then they move on.